Hello, good morning, brother and sister. Welcome back to this uh, channel. In this video, we're going to see how to work very basic smoke simulation. So, here's the result. It's very basic. So, we're going to learn how to create a uh, stores and then we're going to set up a simulation in top. And also, we're going to play around with the density after we simulate the smoke. Okay, let's begin the tutorial. So, here's the <coughs> previous one so let's create a new one create any geometry and this one is smoke simulation tutorial okay so we dive inside and first we need to do is create a sphere so here's I have already camera set up so I have camera and I have several lights as you can see okay the next step is we need to rest this up a little bit so we need two things here we need to we need a source and we need collision so first we need a source like this okay the next step is we want to convert this to volume create an offset offset and the volume is density okay as you can see now we have volume we can increase this like 50 maybe all right the next step is we want to create a temperature we need two fields at least to make a smoke simulation run properly we need the temperature create a name and uh, create a new name from the density okay density and create new name called temperature all right so now we have temperature and density and then we merge this two thing like this okay and then we create a null uh, call this source smoke okay so the next step is we want to call our, our friend Robert Toy here we go and uh, you know increase this yeah, it's going to be the collision maybe just leave it as it is for now okay now let's create a top network we are going to simulate this and we dive inside we need a solver for the smoke of course smoke solver here we go so the next step is create a smoke object not a sparse but uh, it's a uh, oops it's smoke solver make sure you select the oh, make sure you select the smoke object not the sparse one okay the next step is we are going to create a source volume volume source yeah and the sub path is the is the source smoke and here we're going to configure the operation and the source volume is density and temperature because in sub we created two fields here as you can see we need to specify them in tops for the source volume is the volume from the sub they are density and target field is the density density all right the next step is we're going to create a new one this one is temperature and target field is temperature okay so now we have uh, two volume being applied to the solver because uh, yeah basically we send the information from the stop with this node so using this node okay we we don't see our we didn't see our simulation yet we need to adjust the bonding box okay the main if you want to do it manually you can click enter uh yeah oh no here you can uh use enter let's see here we go you can play around with this if you want you see you have our smoke just hit enter on the smoke object and here 
you select the smoke object and then for example if you make sure you hit enter on the viewport not the on the top that will end up like this okay so here's the thing so the next step is you want to have a smoke falling not rising but that for me is to invert this buoyancy lift go to your buoyancy lift and smoke silver and simply invert that value okay that's it the next step is we want to uh, we want to create a collision so we the collision source not this one collision source oh come on collision source alright so because this is a volume so we're going to use uh, uh, this second input uh, second output pdb but collision or collider okay so now here we have a collision field okay so now we're going to call this volume source volume source okay uh, source and uh, we simply duplicate this volume source again source volume simply merge these two things this one we are going to look the collider okay and initialize collision so this is this is preset it will automatically fill the field that we need okay so now when we play the simulation we have collision there collision okay maybe if you want to increase the resolution uh, you know simply decrease this value like this okay let's simulate this again let's see how we have okay we have smoke simulation it's pretty basic and be if one add sort of turbulence as you can see it's very boring shape and there's no turbulence you can add velocity update in here as you can see velocity update and uh yeah got gas turbulence and simply plug this to the velocity update let's see we have a uh, turbulence there uh, but uh, but we still need a mask so uh, basically at this moment the turbulence being applied to all of the area of the smoke we need to create a mask so that the turbulence will happen only in you know, several area for example on the temperature area only so we need to do a go to temporary control settings control fit this is gonna be the mask temperature and this gonna be a one and uh, yeah just like this okay if you want to have a higher turbulence you can simply increase this value at 0 0.05 as you can see we have much turbulence now if you want to visualize them simply take this you can see how turbulence being applied to the fields As you can see if you want to disable this it's being applied to all of the fields it's getting worse so that, that's why we need to specify all the several area all right that's look that looks very nice the next step is uh, if you want to create a to make simulation faster you can create a gas resize with dynamic and then so it's basically it's a uh, it's controlling the domain so we need to specify that the sub path from tracking object it's going to be the source smoke so now we have a much faster now 
maybe if you want to create a ground simply put ground in here and then simply merge this to thing okay that's pretty cool maybe decrease this okay you can also turn off the max bound yeah basically there there's no limit again as you can see now we have uh, you know cool so that's it maybe enjoy this quick turn oh yeah we're going to import this to uh, back to stop we're going to use a drop import fields and put the drop network to the drop network in here and preset choose a smoke and the drop node uh, the default object is smoke object but you can put smokes just like that so now yeah we have very cool basic simulations and uh, yeah that's cool maybe you want to merge this to thing if you want take a look at the result simply merge this to thing like this yeah, that's fine if you want to have much higher resolution you can increase uh, this volume as you can see voxel size make sure you have the same value just like in this area maybe yes for example 0 0.05 let's see what we have okay it's sort of a uh, dry ass it's a uh, very cold maybe you want to increase the the density you can go to the to the he here you can simply add a volume mix up like this and uh, increase maybe like 100 as you can see we have a very dense smoke now of course you need to increase the resolution for as you see we have a really, really weird pattern there it's not what we want okay guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this quick training i hope this tutorial makes sense and uh yeah thank you for watching and happy hoodening